There'll be two bunks in Serenity, one on each side. Each one is sized for a narrow twin, which is 30 by 72 inches. So I'm making the base 73 inches and making it so they'll both flip up. I'm starting with a 10 inch base that's 14 inches off the ground. And this is reinforced in the middle. This happens to be the right length to accommodate a number of really neat baskets, which we got for storage and I'll show you guys later. The base is put together with pocket hole screws and a Craig jig. As you would expect, it makes this kind of stuff really easy to put together. And a bit of reinforcement on the back just to keep it from being wobbly. One of the things I've learned from other campers that I've renovated is they rely a lot on the integrity of things by attaching them to other members. So once this is screwed down to the floor and a few of these backboards screwed into the wall, finally this edge will be screwed into the wall for the toilet. This thing isn't going anywhere. Now that you've seen the foundational pieces that attach to the camper, let's take a look at the bed foundation, which actually flips out of the way. For each of the two beds, I took some of the 3 8 inch plywood that came in the camper, sanded it down, put a bit of a trim piece around the edge, and we'll stain it. Additionally, with more self-tapping pocket hole screws, I've put together what will be the supporting leg for the bunk that flips down. Now we have it stained and have one of them installed, so let's take a look. This one is all put together, stained, and installed. Operating it is pretty straightforward. You just lower it, and there you go. I think most of the time when traveling, We'll keep them down. The only time we'll really raise them is when we need to load something in, like the motorcycle. With the cushion behind, it won't close as tightly, so I'll have to set up some sort of latch to keep it from falling. That should be pretty easy. And there you have it. Retractable bunks made out of common boards and plywood, a little bit of stain, and a few hinges. And after 10 nights of camping and a thousand miles, let me show you a quick update of how the bunks are holding up. So we're rigged for travel right now. Turns out it is better to travel with one of them up to give us space to get in and out. We chose to use decorative chain and some hooks to hold the bunks up. Works just fine. Everything about this configuration is working out really well.